This is the HD Zero Race V3 video transmitter. We've been telling Carl for a while we really like the HD Zero system more and more. Racers are flocking to it, but the Race V1, as you can see, was basically a Thanksgiving dinner table so long. How did you say that happened? because you needed quite a bit of PCB to fit all of the HD goodness inside. Finally, an HD video transmitter designed for FPV racing. Carl's traveled to many of the large races over the last couple of years, studied, interviewed, repaired, and sat on his bench, collating the feedback, and came up with the Race V3, smaller than ever before, addressing some of those complaints about the Race V1, which we affectionately refer to as the Thanksgiving dinner table. Uh, you know, excuse me, I've got to be going. This allows you to mount it where you want, when you want, for racing, and it comes pre-wired with an HD plug for super fast builds. This is a lot of what we wanted. The Race V2 did shrink thing down from that dinner table, but it was still a little bit wide on the outside. It was still a little bit thick. And so on some of your smaller frames, like maybe a light switch, it would hang off the sides and in a sideways crash where you slid into a gate, just like you tried to slide into that girl's DMs, it would end in disaster as you would crash and burn, destroying that hefty investment. Carl's managed to shrink the Race V3 down to a 20 by 20 format that is about the same size as a flight controller. Carl's delivering to us a lot of what we asked for. In case you're wondering, yes, this is basically a component rearrangement of the Whoop Lite into a 20 by 20 format. And just giving us that would have made pretty much everyone happy, but it doesn't stop there. It was also made 1.6 millimeters thick compared to the Whoop Lite at one millimeter, improving the crash durability that's racers are likely to need for those hard crashes. In addition to that thicker PCB layer, an extra layer of glue is also applied to any micro components to help them hold on for even more crash resistance. It can take voltage as little as four volts, notably working on nearly every flight controller's five volt output, all the way up to 12 volts to work with flight controllers that have that built in HD plugin. These wires hanging off the side, that's cause it's gonna come pre-wired up for you with a harness. So if you're using a flight controller with an HD plug-in on board, you're not gonna have to do hardly any soldering. Any time that you can remove from the build process translates to more time that you can have getting that stick time so that you don't stay such a shit pilot forever. In addition to that, there's a number of other quality of life improvements down to the board. Even if you don't use one, having one side already wired up for you saves precious build time, letting you spend more on flight time. It's only 28 millimeters wide and it's about the same size as most 20 by 20 flight controllers it still has those little screws and the retention bar to hold that ufl connector on securely one of the nice things about the hd systems of dji walksnail and hd zero is that you no longer have to solder up a camera connector given that this comes pre-wired your soldering is getting less and less and less with each new advancement now as we all know carl is an engineer of this technology but he's not a board layout designer. Now the hope was more and more companies would get on board and start designing the, the video transmitters and the cameras and then Carl would step back and only work on developing the technology itself. That hasn't happened as fast as we would like, although Fox here is making both cameras and video transmitters now. So it is starting to come to fruition. But until that handoff is complete, we still need to keep evolving these. Racers, are mass migrating over to the HD0 system due to the extra special feel benefits that you get by using the 90 FPS camera. Once you start going out to these events, once you start racing, once you start utilizing different products, you can really tell the difference in the companies that are out there 
listening to the feedback in the weeds at the races at the freestyle events at the drl finals and those are the ones that are really have their finger on the pulse and carl is at a lot of those events too so you really have to give credit where credit is due we still haven't really interacted with very many companies that can advance things this quickly in fact i think a few people are frustrated that maybe it's too fast they just loaded up on a bunch of video transmitters of maybe the race v2 are they going to be mad that the race v3 is already here you know what i have a couple of builds that have the fox here and the race v2 which are basically almost the same size and i'm not going to just switch it out for this any ones that i do build in the future is going to be using this now guys just a disclaimer this is the prototype that i received from the hd0 team for helping to test the tramp telemetry integration what's that for that's so that you can use your ghost module to change the channel that's going to be the goal and it may not be available and working on release day for this product but it is coming soon it's in the release notes so if you see that tramp telemetry that's the end goal for that i'm going to be bringing this prototype to tony over from version rc at io so that he can help us get that functionality up and working this is a prototype board so i don't have a ton of packs on it my production board is on the way but this release date is going to hit before I can really put a lot of packs on it but you know who has put a lot of packs on it Joe Mama and from the Houston crew I've been monitoring his progress viewing his feed from my goggles and it seems to perform just as well as just about anything else some of the early prototype ones had a little bit of reception issues and those are going to be resolved on the production units Ryan will probably be flying a set of these out at IO so if you happen to see him there go ask him about it as well really interesting times guys hd0 is evolving faster and faster you know what a lot of people are resorting to double side taping those whoop vtx's to top plates now you don't have to do that you can put it into a regular stack no muss no fuss thanks uncle carl 